For children with autism, being a kid can be a challenge. Interacting and communicating like most kids is a struggle, and it affects one in 68 children. Right now, there are no medicines to reverse the symptoms. Can you imagine your child is that one in 68? We know autism spectrum disorder arises in the brain, but for years, getting brain tissue to research the disease has been difficult. But imagine a world where we can overcome this problem. Let me explain. It starts with a brain in a dish. No, it's not that. We're talking about something way cooler. Our brains are made up of about 100 billion nerve cells, called neurons. Neurons develop from stem cells. As our bodies grow, so do stem cells, maturing into specialized cells for our lungs, liver, heart. You get the picture. We've known for a while now that embryonic stem cells could hold the key to unlocking treatments for some of the most challenging diseases. But not everyone liked the idea of using these cells for research. Now imagine this. What if we could do stem cell research without using any embryos? What if we took a cell from the skin of someone with autism, rewound it back to its immature stage, then differentiated it into any type of cell we wanted or needed? Well, we now can, thanks to pioneering research from labs around the world. This is a brain in a dish, seriously. With this one brain cell, we can grow more. We can actually simulate and compare the activity of healthy and autistic brains in a lab. No, you're not watching a science fiction film. We're using these brain models as research tools today. So what was once locked away is now accessible. Not only can we watch neurons firing, but we can see brain cells reacting to potential treatments right in front of our eyes. Long-standing mysteries about how diseases impact our brain could potentially be solved. Think about what that means. We can take a child with autism and study his or her brain without needing an actual piece of it. We could gain clues from physical research and test potential treatments and see how they might work. Imagine the possibilities. Now reimagine that one in 68 child and the ways we might be able to help. Pretty great, right? <laughs>